Hi, this is Aaron with PhotoshopDemos.com, and I wanted to show you if you are brand new to Photoshop where you can get started um, with the menus. Um, basically, all your um, main menu is up here, and um, you're going to click on these different items to get your drop down list, and you'll see a variety of options. Um, your main option here is new or open. Um, I'll go ahead and create a new document. And then you'll be prompted with this uh, little dialog box here, the new uh, new window creator. And if you want to use a standard sheet, if you're going to do something with print, uh, you can go ahead and use the presets for US paper or international paper or photo. Um, basically any of these options are going to give you some different settings. So if we come up here to US paper, we'll now see we have size and we can create legal letter or tabloid size papers. As well as if we come up here and do international papers, we'll get all the different international sizes A6 through DL. So um, if you want to do something with the web, uh, you get the standard web size here, which is 1024 by 768. And this is really nice because you can go with the wider layouts for larger screens or one of the older standards, which was 800 by 600. Um, and nowadays, I think most people are using 1024 or 768 on their site. That seems to fit the most common uh, monitors, which are between uh, 17 inches and 19 inches. So if you want to go ahead and choose one of those, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and just do the web layout for right now. And if you want to choose your color profile, you can as well. Um, it's up to you what you want to use. If you want to use RGB, um, I particularly like this Adobe RGB 1998 uh, for uh, several things that I do. And I go ahead and hit OK. And then you'll have your new document created. And sorry, it's just taking a little bit longer than expected here. All right, there we go. And so now we have our new blank document. So um, again, just kind of coming up here to the windows, um, to your menus, to your main menu, you, you have um, your filters in here for basically if any of the filters that are in Photoshop or if you install filters, those are all going to be in this drop down here. Um, you also have some other things like liquify, uh, which is just another filter type of effect. Vanishing point, which does some more 3D type of stuff. And then your pattern maker, which will create patterns. So um, you can play around with the different things in here. Um, I can go more into specific uh, details about each one of these menus and other tutorials, but for right now, um, just get used to um, this main menu up here because you'll be coming up here a lot, especially if you're not familiar with all the um, shortcut keys quite yet. So um, the image is also a very common menu. Basically you have your um, adjustments up here for your images like levels, curves, contrast, black and white, hue and saturation, all the typical kind of things you might use, as well as your image size, which um, you can resize your image or just stretch out the canvas um, aside from all your layers uh, if you want to do that. So um, another common menu is your edit menu. You'll be using this for uh, doing copying and pasting as well as uh, defining brushes and different presets and then also changing some of your color profiles later on um, when you get more advanced with setting up the correct uh, color profiles for the different types of print that you want to do so um, as well as customizations down here to get Photoshop a little bit more configured and again I would just maybe do this in another tutorial but just so you know it's there and other than that um, that's a good way to just kinda get started with the menus um, kinda go through here uh, this is another main menu your windows this is going to um, activate or disable any of the um, external menus that you see here that you see floating off to the sides here left and right so um, the checkbox means that it's on 
and if there isn't a checkbox that means it's either hidden or it's not enabled so um, go ahead and play with those menus those are your main menus you'll be using those a lot especially the file menu where you can open close um, get to your bridge as well as print so I um, hope that was helpful Hope you enjoyed that tutorial, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Aaron from PhotoshopDemos.com.